All right, guys. It's uh, 27th of January. It's my first walk of the year. And uh, woke up today to uh, good thunderstorms and, and rain all day. It's going to be raining most of the day. So everything I told you about car hearts and all that, you can throw it all out the, out the window. I'm walking stuff that's not that thorny today. And uh, I'm just going to run with the rain gear today a little bit. Stuff that's not quite so uh, thorny. So uh, I came into this is a new spot. I've never never walked this piece at all. It's something I looked at on the map and also seen driving around. It's a, a city park here in uh, a township park actually uh, in the area that I live in. Not my township, but in a surrounding township. But um, it's a place that everybody can walk. You can't hunt. Uh, there's new there's golf courses around. There's uh, you know, new new developments around just like any place in the United States I'm sure but mostly here in South Jersey this is what's happening down here so man a whole lot we can do as you can hear I got a main thorough thoroughfare here that the uh, people are using to get to work right now it's about a uh, quarter to eight in the morning I took probably I'm about a hundred yards in from my car and um, one of the first things I, I noticed that I and I picked it up on the on the uh, Google image of this place is these cedar trees over here. Perfect, perfect thermal cover for the winter. Um, we just just came out of a cold snap so the deer probably uh, got a little bit into that survival mode and now today it's 45 degrees at sunrise so I don't know if deer really switch back and forth too many times throughout the winter but uh, they were probably in a little bit of a survival mode there for the last week and now they may be breaking back up a little bit or whatever but for a week in January I know that they're probably using thermal cover so that's a good time to be hitting those kind of areas and uh, just seeing if something dropped in here you know what I mean uh, little pieces like this I, I know from experience that there's gonna be one big area that's thick in between a bunch of open stuff and things that are closed off to, to hunting and everything but a strip of woods there's going to be areas where does bed in there and there's going to be areas where bucks bed in there and uh, you can plainly see it when you start looking for shed antlers and looking for big buck beds so uh, the, the only uh, way to find out is to go in there and look and um, but you know one of the things I wanted to show you here is one of the things I look for when I start to split a place up and start to uh, to look at my high percentage areas to walk. Now right here you have, I don't know if you can kind of see the deer tracks here or not, put on my pack right there, you can see deer tracks. This is a, a trail coming through here. You can probably pretty, pretty much see it here. This is a good bottleneck right here where they all pinched down and came in here. but. As we come around this way, you can, hopefully this shows up pretty good on the thing, but you can see a defined deer trail. And I'll walk right over here and show you. And you can see a defined deer trail right through here with just fresh tracks going right up into those cedars. So for me, if I'm gonna walk this, this area, the one thing that you can't deny where a deer shed could be is a deer trail I mean if I'm looking through this area right here and I see deer tracks right here plainly see deer tracks right here and there's none right over here why would I walk where there's no deer tra tracks I'm gonna walk the trails those are gonna be the areas where they're gonna be dropping the, the sheds there and then there's splits off of there into their bed so just keep that in mind you know don't just plain blindly walk into the woods I mean you can find sheds that way but I'm gonna try getting the most I can of the time that I have out here in the woods so I'm walking trails and then once I start walking trails I go in there and I see other trails splitting off I may take you know you know, you might see something in the trail where there's a bunch of rubs up on the trail you might see big huge tracks coming off on a split off that and I'll walk those those more because there's a chance that you know it's a higher chance that's a, a antler deer with the bigger tracks so it, there, there are ways to split things up you know you're not gonna find a shed in a place where deer don't use so you, it seems like common sense and it probably is for most people but if you see the trails walk the trails 
and go into thick cover, especially the ones that are going into thick cover. You know, I find probably 75% of my sheds in the beds or within 20 yards of a bed. So the other 15% are on trails, and then you get some that just fall. I mean, I've, I've been driving down roads and seen them in fields before, so that's a small percentage. So they're the, they're the good ones to find, but they're the freebies. But just something I figured I would throw it out there, and uh, I'm gonna pack this stuff back up because it's raining, my camera's getting wet, and when we find something else that's interesting, we'll show you.